Hi there, welcome to my sewing channel. So in today's video I'll be talking about six different coats and jackets, some transitional and some warm and snuggly. So if you want to see what I've got to offer, please hang around and I'll be right back with you. get on to the actual coats and jackets I just want to say thank you for coming back and if you're brand new here thank you so much for investigating <laughs> if you like this video and if you like my other videos please give me a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and remember and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Okay, so first off, we've got the Poppy Coat. And this is by the Fabric Store in New Zealand. Um, this is fairly new in terms of coat and jack, particularly coat patterns. Um, so it goes from a size 4 to 32. And size 4 is a 30 bust, a waist of 24.4 inches and a hip of 34.3 inches. And a size 32 is a bust of 57.7 inches, a waist of 51 and a hip of 62.8 inches. The poppy coat is an oversized fit with a long raglan sleeves. It comes in two different lengths, one in full and the other in mid length. The largest size takes just under 4 metres um, at 150 wide fabric. I um, really like this and I think there's so much to be done. Um, particularly like if you've not tried welt pockets before this is a good one Um, i think the instructions are quite um good as far as i've heard i really would really like to give this a shot Um, yeah if you have tried the poppy coat let me know and um let me know what you think next up is a favorite pattern company of mine and they are friday pattern company their coat is the cambria dust duster coat Um, you can wear a belt with it or you can have the belt tied at the back to have a, a nice silhouette a fitted silhouette um or a clean shapely look Um, it is a vers very versatile and staple fall piece it has dramatic well draped show style collars and I kind of fall head over heels for this so yeah it's unlined so um if you have a kind of wool blend just watch because it can be become a wee bit jaggy <laughs> um but it's perfect for layering so you could always have a long sleeve top um underneath the duster as well as trousers <laughs> or the skirt <laughs> something that doesn't touch the wheel in an in-between layer um it is drafted for a b cup and it takes about uh, under 4.5 meters for the larger size at 150 wide fabric the sizes that the cambria duster goes from a zero or an extra small to a 28 4x and i believe that um the cambria dusters and the other patterns are going to be updated um as we go in probably into 2022 so yeah stick around and watch for that the bust of the extra small is a 32 a waist of 24 and a hip of 34 and it goes up to a size 28 out of 4x um, of a bust of 54, a waist of 47 and a hip of 57. So, 
moving on we next have a lovely one from the sienna maker jacket by closet core patterns at first i wasn't really quite sure about this i don't know i've not um i think when it came out there wasn't much like there wasn't much variety uh looking at the tester photos and like the model photos i just didn't feel the urge if you know what i mean you know yeah it's taken a while for it to me for the sienna to warm to me <laughs> sienna maker jacket is a chic utility utility jacket inspired by vintage work french workwear it's designed for hard wearing use by makers and artists Woohoo! and it functions as, as both stylish outerwear and highly practical layer for inside the studio it's got a slightly dropped shoulder and it's got a crisp crisp knot collar which can be worn buttoned at the neck with optional snap buttons it is unlined again so perfect for transitional the sienna jacket comes in a size 0 to 20 and the 14 to 32 now because i'm trying to be quite inclusive for the larger sizes i'll just mention the 14 to 32 and um I'll pop the 0 to 20 down below as well for the sizes if you're interested. So size 14 is a bust of 42, waist of 35 and a hip of 45. And size 32 is a bust of 56, waist of 53 and a hip of 63. So really inclusive sizing there. Um, yeah. And, and... It might be a spring piece, maybe next year. I might put it down for my mate nine. I'm not quite sure about my mate nine next year. Moving on is a, the Tamarack. Now, this has just been re released in new sizes from 14 to 30 from Dainline Studio. It is also available in 0 to 20, but again, I'll just show you the 14 to 30 sizes. So size 14, the bust is 40, waist is 33 and hip of 43 inches. To so size 30, which is bust of 56, waist of 49 and hip of 59. The size, the size is 14 to 30, it's graded for a D cup. So just bear that in mind when you come to the bust. You might need to do a small bust adjustment or a large bust adjustment depending on your size and measurements of your bust area. The Tamarack is designed for transitional periods like going into autumn or going into spring from winter or to winter. Um, it is warm and stylish, quilted coat and it's got an inner layer of cotton or wool batting. Um, this is perfect for like maybe trying out a quilted jacket. I have seen something really similar in previous years from Monsoon where they do like a very light tamarack jacket and it's quilted. And yeah, I could see myself wearing something like that. So there's nice roomy belt cuff pockets as well perfect for keeping your hands toasty and keeping your bits and pieces inside we're nearly there I see jacket and this is by so over at london the dorothy jacket comes in 14 to 30 as well as 6 to 20. the 14 comes at bust of 45 waist of 38 and hip of, hip of 48 inches to a size 57 bust waist of 50, 50 and hip of 60 for the size 30 it takes three meters or less 
Um, I would say you could use a cotton drill for this. It would look fabulous. It is kind of very similar to the Kellyanne Rack by Closet Core, which I just really wish Closet Core would bring out, um, especially lined in the bigger sizes. I think there's a big following for this Closet Core, so if you're watching this, please just let us know when it's going to happen. There has been like rumours, but I want something concrete. <laughs> I've had um, oil canvas, um, I think it's cotton, oil canvas in my stash for ages. It's been folded up, so the creases will be absolutely galore. So, oh boy, <laughs> trying to get these creases out is going to be a uh, no-go. Um, so, we'll just have to wear it and sort of, they'll eventually fade, maybe. But I really would like to get this Kelly and that done maybe next year when the pan does come out. So, that will be a lovely, long slow project um to do but anyway moving back to the drill the teacher jacket really quite like this i think it would be fabulous in a cotton drill it's quite a good transitional piece you could wear it uh, um in late spring early late spring or late autumn early oh, late summer early autumn going into winter it's an easy fitting utility jacket with a convertible collar and simple press stud fastening. It features room, roomy front pat, patch pockets with plenty of space for all your essentials as well as stylish four chest pockets. The fabulous drawstring waist and the hip length design is super flattering whilst being also comfy to wear. I hate the term flattering. <laughs> There's a bit of a rumbling in the sewing community, especially the fat sewing community, about the word flattering. Go and look it up. I don't want to explain on here. Last but not least, we've got the lovely lagging coat by Itch to Stitch. Now, this is really a versatile um, pattern, especially going into winter where it will be quite indispensable. It's very chic um, and it's got a lovely solette as well. It's quite elegant. So if you made this in a lovely red wool polyester bin, it would just be, or even black. It's got princess seams which makes fitting a lot easier as well. It's got lots of options for cup, cup sizes, so basically zero, double zero to 20, you've got the A, B, C, D and double D cups. For sizes 22 to 40, you've got a B, C, D and double D cup options. So, for instance, if I were to choose the C cup size range for the 22 to the 40, I would go from a bust of 32.18, waist of 25.38, hip of 33.18, to a size 40 of bust 61 inches, waist 54 and one quarter, and hips of 62 inches for a size 40. I just wanted to give you an example there because I was like looking at it was like oh what one will I try. So that's all we've got today. I hope you've enjoyed this rather quick video on my take to coats. Bearing in mind I've tried the pony jacket by Helen's Closet. I'll pop a picture right here now. And I've also done a lovely Simplicity 8262. This is the coat that my mother started and unfortunately she didn't manage to finish it because cancer kind of 
got in the way um, and sadly she is no longer here with me but um, I somehow summoned uh, some emotion <laughs> to get through it and finish it so I love it to bits it's an, I love a little hug from my mum um, yeah so it's one of my proudest makes and I look forward to wearing it a wee bit more often this year. I put I don't really wear it in wet weather <laughs> just because it's real and yeah it takes ages to dry and I really don't want to wreck it like that so I try and wear it when it's a cold crisp dry day. But there you go. Um, I've done those two coats and I really want to try and make some more but um, we'll see. The year is um, chasing us literally. So the coat that I plan to make before this year is up is on my Make 9 and that's a Cam Day as Uster. So fingers crossed, might get there. So without further ado, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Oh, don't forget to subscribe um, so you get, um, and hit that notification bell uh, so you don't miss out on any of the videos. And I will be back very, very shortly with another video on Monday. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it's going to be a slightly different video, but yeah. I'm smiling. If you kind of look about my channel, you might sort of figure out why I'm like, oh, it's a wee bit different. So, but you'll have to wait for Monday and, um, yeah, it will be there with you on my video channel thing. Okay, I'll leave you there.